Welcome to the KB Home Project, where tomorrow lives. Also, welcome to Vegas Wonderland. We didn't expect it to be snowing in Vegas, but it makes the house even more beautiful. This tagline we gave to the home where tomorrow lives is an indication that we, KB Home, our partners and sponsors are trying to explore at the horizon what housing would look like 10 years from now. And when we designed the home, we designed it by looking at the trends that uh, are starting to emerge in the 21st century. Um, after studying a lot of trends, we decided on four pillars for this home. A home that is sustainable, healthy, smart, and flexible. We'll walk in this house and uh, explore some of these things together. But before we walk in, I just want to point a couple of things to you. I want to point out that the second floor has its own separate entrance. Um, and on the other side, we have a garage that is separated from the house by a breezeway. That's part of flexibility and part of the objective of uh, creating housing that could be uh, transformed over time, over the life stages of the people living in it, or even uh, the uh, transitions in economy uh, to adapt to, to the needs uh, of the moment. For example, the garage, we separated it from the house because in the future when we have autonomous transportation, maybe homeowners would not need a garage. And therefore, being that it is separated by a breezeway, we can make it an, an auxiliary dwelling unit on its own, a rentable on its own. Let's go in and look at what we have inside. So the home is in the away mode right now. The shades are down, the lights are off, the uh, thermostat is at an energy saving uh, setting. But when I get back into the house, all I have to say is something like, hey Google, I'm back. You can see that the shades go up, lights come back on, and the temperature is getting reset to the comfortable temperature that I want in the house uh, when I'm in, uh, in it. And I have my favorite music uh, playing on the Google Max uh, beautiful speaker. So now I'm gonna show you the feature that we call robotic interiors, the movable wall that creates a different space configuration within this uh, area. Um, as you can see, we have here a beautiful uh, wall that has a, a wine dispenser. It is uh, adjacent to the kitchen, and that, uh, that is a very nice uh, situation for uh, easy access from the kitchen and the dining uh, to the wine. But if you have a larger part, you may want to have more space. So we have here a movable wall that is electrified uh, to uh, uh, provide the electricity to the wine uh, dispenser, but also to move the wall forward and backward. So I can move this wall quickly to the back and gain more space here for the great room to give us uh, that uh, uh, party setting, if you will. I call this the one minute uh, remodeling versus the two months remodeling. And this wall can go all the way back, uh, just taking space from the room that was behind it. Um, I'm gonna move it back forward. And perhaps the next version of this wall would be one that uh, starts to say, uh, you, you do these forward and backwards uh, with a voice command. Right now, it's clicks. When the wall is fully forward again, it defines a room. And for privacy, the wall has pocket doors that, def uh, that gives it privacy. So this flex room can also flex to provide an office, 
or a guest bedroom. Right now, it is set up as an office, a uh, writing desk, shelves. But if we move the chair slightly, we now can convert the room to a guest bedroom. Notice how nothing is, uh, I didn't have to move anything on the desk. It's fully articulating and stays flat all the time. And now we have the bed. This system furniture has plenty of storage for the pillows and for the comforter and so on. By code, what defines a room, a bedroom, is an emergency egress, which we have here with the window, and closets, which we have right here as well. And so uh, this is uh, definitely can be defined as a bedroom. This beautiful, smart and healthy kitchen has a suite of appliances from Whirlpool including Whirlpool's Gen Air coffee and cappuccino machine, which uh, can, you fill the water in, uh, in, in this reservoir, it takes eight cups of uh, uh, water, and I think that would be enough for half of my coffee intake uh, per day. Um, but it also has nice connected appliances. So for example, if, I have, if I'm going to cook uh, something that is frozen, I can just simply scan the barcode with my Whirlpool app. Uh, the app has a large database of uh, frozen products. It knows their uh, cooking instructions. Now it is on my uh, app and I can say send it to the microwave or send it to the oven and uh, uh, the oven will start and it will cook it perfectly according to the uh, producer's instructions. Of course, if you're doing conventional cooking, we have a beautiful, uh, very efficient induction cooktop uh, to cook on in this house. So we've programmed our Kohler faucet to fill certain amounts of water, and we're gonna use our Gen Air Reservoir as an example. Hey Google, fill my Gen Air. And then it stops once it filled the allotted amount of water it needed. Behind me is uh, the garden wall for the house. It has uh, several vegetables and herbs. It is uh, irrigated with drip irrigation that you control uh, and uh, it really is part of the idea of farm to table but rather than the farm being half a mile or uh, half a block away it's just five feet away from the kitchen. So here we have the Darwin home dashboard and what we're looking at here is a floor plan of the project house um, and the color coding here is indicating the air quality in the various zones in the house. There's 10 different air quality sensors uh, that are part of the Darwin platform uh, in various rooms around the home. So we see a color coded floor plan. We can see the uh, air quality score overall here for the home and then look at the individual scores for CO2, PM2.5, PM10. And those are some of the common indoor air pollutants that are being measured by the Darwin system. Uh, we can click into an individual room um, for example, the loft, and now we're seeing the individual scores and readings um, for that area. And there's also uh, an outdoor sensor, which we can uh, hit here and get the outdoor sensor uh, for the air quality as well. The Darwin dashboard also allows the homeowner to uh, hit certain uh, scenes. So if you want to do a welcome scene, you come back home. Um, we can also do that with Google. Uh, but we can uh, do different circadian lighting, energized, relaxed, different wellness-enabled lighting scenes um, that the Darwin system is speaking to the other systems in the home to enable. Um, in addition, we can do light control, uh, shades, as well as 
the dawn simulation. We don't have any scheduled at the moment. Uh, folks haven't moved in quite yet, but you can schedule to have the home naturally wake you up. Uh, and so that is the Darwin dashboard for the home. Hey Google, run Circadian Show in Master Bedroom. So we're starting out in the morning um, and we're gonna uh, sort of wake up to that sunrise type light, um, a natural uh, wake up. And then as we come through uh, the morning and get into the mid to late morning through noontime, um, we're seeing now that bright, uh, high color temperature light uh, sort of looks like the sun at noontime and that's helping us stay energized during the day that's suppressing melatonin production um, and, and helping us be alert and awake and present um, and then as we come into the later afternoon into the evening um, we're seeing the lighting now kind of shift a little bit more towards that sunset hue more more red more orange um, less of that blue content and that's allowing our bodies to actually start producing melatonin again and get ready for a restful night of sleep part of creating an optimal sleep environment uh, for the homeowner is uh, making sure that we don't have light intrusion coming in and that we're uh, able to control that lighting to optimally for the homeowner so as part of that um, we have blackout shades here um, and uh, but most blackout shades, you still get some light intrusion around the edge of them. So um, in this home, in the project home, uh, KB, Dalos, and Hunter Douglas work together to bring in these uh, shades here that have uh, channels uh, that, this, that the shade uh, goes up and down in, um, as well as with uh, some, some anti-light intrusion um, paint inside of the, the channel. So that's gonna create the optimal environment in terms of uh, blocking out any outside light uh, from uh, coming in and disrupting the homeowner's sleep. So when I'm back in the home, or when I enter a room and I turn on the light, the lights in the room turn on to a color temperature that is equal to the color temperature of the outdoors light. That's a feature of the Darwin Wellness Intelligence System to help the occupants uh, maintain a healthy circadian rhythm uh, within their bodies. The circadian rhythm lighting concept carries through into the master bathroom. Here we have vanity mirrors from a Kohler uh, subsidiary called Roburn and uh, they have uh, lights uh, that have two color temperatures um, one for maintaining the relax mode and one for the energized mode so in the, uh, for example in the at night time i'm brushing teeth and getting ready for bed i would want it to be on just the relax or warm color to help me maintain my melatonin but in the morning when you want to be energized and you want to get out of the house quickly you probably will put it on the energized setting and get, uh, get that uh, blood pumping and make it out the door on time for facing the commute. The house has flexibility in many ways. One of these flexible uh, features is life stages flexibility. So as someone is able to walk into the shower, they can simply walk into it. But uh, uh, as uh, the homeowner ages in place, ages uh, to maybe a point that they might need uh, uh, a wheelchair, um, then they can be, um, uh, still the access is available and they also have a seat uh, right there. The shower is a, uh, is a Kohler DTV digital shower and it has a controller here that um, uh, can store in it def different users and their preferences which jets they want and what temperature they like so for example I can go to users we have Jack and Jill in here I'm gonna click on Jack and say start and Jack's favorite outlet 
will bring out the water at the right temperature. Not all the innovations in this house are digital. There are some things in this world that are best left to be simple, but innovative. Like this, what I call horizontal laundry chute. On the other side of this wall is the laundry room. But instead of having to take um, your laundry from the master closet, which I'm in, to around the house, to the uh, laundry, we innovated a small little pass through where you can put your whites, colored, what have you, and go get them from the other side. This is Kiker. It's uh, a robot in development. It is uh, a robot that uh, will roam the house when you're not in the house and uh, be a security guard, if you will, checking windows and doors um, but if you're home, you can say, Kiker, follow me, and it can go where you want, and it has a projector, so it can project YouTube, uh, Netflix, things of that sort, or even video games uh, that you Chromecast uh, to it. Uh, so, very nice uh, little robot. This is the second floor for the house. This floor is the one that can separate and be a unit, a housing unit on its own. Um, so when the family is still young and they have children, this floor is really for the children and it comes with two bedrooms, uh, secondary bath. It comes with this beautiful uh, flexible space as well that includes a kitchenette. So very functional for a young family. Yet, when the household uh, transitions to empty nesters, this floor can be totally separated from the floor under it, and you know it becomes an income-generating uh, uh, property for the homeowner, whether it is a lease or it's Airbnb, things of that sort. It is conditioned by this VRF variable refrigerant heat pump system from Carrier. As you can see, it's uh, a diffuser with multi uh, fins. This is ductless, so we start getting into a lot more efficient air conditioning scenarios than the conventional air conditioning. The second floor is served by its own washer dryer. This is a washer dryer combo heat pump from Whirlpool. Beautiful technology that saves space and energy at the same time. The shades on the second floor are semi-smart, but much less expensive. So these ones, rather than responding to uh, voice commands, uh, they simply respond to a nudge to, the, uh, to this wand. So if I click it up, it will close the shades, another up, it tries, it, 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 the, the shades rise, I can stop it at any time, bring it down again. And open them up. Pretty cool.